Fellow Nigerians, it's your Commander-in-Chief, and I have something very important to share. Now we're all aware of the happiness in Ukraine, and the escalation of hostilities, and the risks to life and property that that comes with. It is quite saddened, the happiness in that country. And some of us have citizens over there. Some of us have family members over there. Some of us are concerned of what is happening over there. That is good. Lives are at risk. It is all right to be concerned. But do you know that in our country, Nigeria, there's been a war raging on for the past 13 years? Yes. Boko Haram or ISWAP has been raging war since 2009. Over 35,000 people have been murdered. Over 2.7 million people have been displaced from their homes. Is this not a serious point of concern? The hostilities in Ukraine is just in the second day. A number of lives have been lost. And that seems to be the point of conversation at every news channel. Nigerians are so concerned. It is all right to be concerned, but should you be concerned more than what is happening in Nigeria? Bandits are having a field day. As we speak, hundreds, if not thousands of people are camped as hostages, waiting to be battered off for ransom. A lot of our citizens, as we speak, are in one ritualist den or the other awaiting a gruesome fate. Is that not enough cause for us to hit the streets? As we speak, there are so many atrocities that have been committed in our country on a daily basis. Lives have been lost. Many a times we just gloss over the news with little or no interest. These are happenings in our country. These are happenings, if not to you, but to your neighbor. These are reasons for us to be far more concerned. It is all right to be concerning something that potentially could be, as they say, the Third World War. It's all right to be concerned. But they are happening already in our nation, far worse, that have been raging on for far too long. We should be more concerned with the fires that is happening in our backyard. Yes, we show sympathy, but we ought to show more sympathy with the things happening in our country. The news are too much. The bloodshed is too much. It's not Boko Haram or Iswap. It's bandits. It's hessmen. It's unknown gunmen. It's ritualists. The country is gradually getting to a state of in officially a failed state. Security forces are there, but we all know that they've done little to checkmate this. Fellow citizens, all I'm saying is this. Charity should begin at home. I come in peace.